Fred here, welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. In this episode, we'll be taking a look at the Through Knight Archer 2A version 2. A lot of you who follow my channel know that my favorite flashlight is the Through Knight Archer 1A V2, but um, how can you make it better? Well, for me, there's no way to make this sucker better, but for some of you, the 180 max lumen for this might not be quite enough. So, you could go ahead and get the 2-cell edition. This is the 1A. This is the 2A. It's like the same um, head of the flashlight right there. Everything's the same except you get a longer barrel, and you're able to put two AA batteries in it, and that will pump up the volume to... 450 lumens. By the way, Through Night did provide this flashlight for me to review. So, along with the flashlight, if you order this, uh, it comes in this nice box. And in that box, you'll get some instructions. You will get some extra O rings as well as an extra um, tail cap cover or tail switch cover right there. And you also get a lanyard. You also get a clip. It's already installed on the flashlight right there. Um, you can get this for about 39 bucks. I went ahead and provide the link below along with a whole bunch of other links to the uh, Through Night store as well as all the Amazon links to, from all the different countries. So you should have no problem ordering this flashlight. This flashlight runs on two AA batteries. I'm going to go ahead and pop these in. You just go ahead and unscrew the tail cap. One thing I'd like you to notice right off the bat is you have grease right on there. So it's nice and smooth. You have nice square threads. Nice O-ring right there. Go ahead and put the positive side up. Or first. However you want to say it. You know what I'm talking about. And... We'll go ahead and close this up. All right. It's not hard. <laughs> it's just me. Because I'm sitting here trying to look at my notes and screw the tail cap on at the same time. So this flashlight has the Cree XP-L B6 LED, which gives you a maximum 450 lumens in the um, clear white um, edition right here. You also can get a neutral white. Um, actually, you could get it a lot cheaper, about $30, same link that I went ahead and provided for Amazon. You could purchase either one. Now, the neutral white has a slightly more amber color, and it will um, not be quite as bright. So, big difference again. Um, my favorite one, the One Cell Edition, which has all the same stuff, but because it has One Cell, um, less power, puts out 180 and by putting two cells in there, two double A's, you're pumping it up to a max for 50 lumens, 450 lumens. So one of the nice things about this flashlight is all the functions are not just in the tail switch. You have a mode switch. So you go, you know, you, you go ahead and turn it on. You have a clicky. I'm going to go ahead and brighten this up a little bit and clicky off. Or you could do a momentary where you just sort of press it like that, just a little bit. Press further, click, stays on. Press it all the way, releases. And you have a separate button for your modes. So you could just sort of sequence through. And we'll go ahead and go through these modes here very shortly. Um, other things I absolutely love about this flashlight is the steel crown bezel right there. You can see that. So that gives you a couple of things. Uh, it gives you a good uh, weapon if you need to hit somebody. It's a nice, strong crown bezel it can put a dent into whatever you're hitting the other thing is if you put your flashlight down and you accidentally uh, leave it on um, you have a little bit of light leakage right there so you could uh, give you a little indicator that hey you left your flashlight on you have nice glass anti-glare coated uh, lens right there or cover in there you can see the nice um, clear reflector it's not an orange peel it's just uh, purely clear so that helps it throw a little bit downrange, and we'll uh, see that outside here a little bit later on in the video. Very nice. You have your clip, sort of comes up and back down, so it'll uh, carry a little bit deep in your pocket if you go ahead and put that in your pocket. If you have a pocket that long, you know, maybe cargo pants or something like that, or you put it on your belt or, or whatever. 
the clip is removable and reversible. You just sort of yank on it really hard like that and it comes off. And then you can push it really hard and you pop it back on. And I like how this is sort of squared off right here. So it keeps the uh, clip nice and f on a flat surface, not a round surface. And it keeps it from, it, it, not that it's going to move because it's on there pretty tight. And getting down to the tail cap area, it has a nice knurling here. By the way, there's a little bit of knurling here. The newer versions seem to have less knurling than the older versions. Um, so you got some knurling around the tail cap, which is nice because that helps you uh, get a little bit of traction when you're, when you're turning this to put new batteries in. And you have a U-shape down here, so it helps you, uh, it's a, you're able to press that button because it's sort of U-shaped. See that U-shape? And there's your button. And you can see there's a place to put your lanyard right there. You have some holes. And you see that U-shape, you know, even though you have a button here on the bottom, that U-shape goes beyond the button. So what that enables you to do is tail stand the flashlight. See that? Not exactly the most steady you can see right there so you better have a flat level surface but um definitely comes in handy if you're lighting you know you have to light a room in case of emergency you can go ahead and you know put this down turn it on let the light reflect off the ceiling it'll light the room with no problem working voltage of this flashlight um does not allow you to use um 14500 batteries um with the case of the where is it where did my 1a my 1A, um, you're able to put a single 14500 in there, but in the case of the 2A, do not put two 14500s because that exceeds the, um, the the range of voltage in there. So for those of you who had that idea, nope, don't do it. Your working voltage is between 0.9 volts and 4.2 volts, so obviously it would be a lot higher than that. So there's your word of warning. You have five modes in this flashlight. I'll go ahead and uh, run down them really quick. You have your Firefly mode right there. Press the mode again. You got, uh, what is it, low, medium, and then your really bright high, and then it round robins back down to medium, or down to Firefly. If you press and hold it, by the way, if you have seizures, go ahead and look away for a second. Uh, if you hold it while it's on, it goes into a strobe mode. Click it again, and it goes back to normal mode. So it's on uh, whatever the last one was, which in the case in this case it was Firefly. So um, let's uh, let's see here. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> okay, Firefly. If you notice it's in Firefly, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. Turn it back on. It's also back at Firefly. I'm gonna go ahead and bring this up to medium. Turn it off. Turn it back on, it goes back on. So all your Firefly low, medium, high all have a memory um, setting or feature. So whatever you left it on when you turned it off, when you turn it back on, it will come back on that same power. Really nice. You have a lot of protections built into this flashlight. You have reverse polarity protection. Um, you can also drop this thing to... Um, there we go. I'll, I'll go ahead and drop it a little bit. <laughs> 6.5 feet or 2 meters. Um, this is waterproof, and I'll go ahead and show you that. It's also uh, freezing proof. You could put this in a freezer. I'll show you that real quick, too, here in a moment. Um, it weighs 2.6 ounces without the battery's dimensions. It's 6.2 inches long right there. And the diameter at the uh, top here, if you were to measure this, it's 0.9 inches um, by the way, all the metrics uh, measurements are down in the description box below. So, uh, I think I really just about covered everything. By the way, this body is all nice aircraft grade aluminum. Um, very well made. It's premium type 3, hard anodized, anti-abrasive finish. It's uh, just like you know any other through night you would get. It's rock solid. So let's go ahead and run down the modes really quick. What I'm going to try to do is maybe right right here in this area here I'm going to go ahead and put the um, run times and the amount of lumens you get in each feature. I'm going to go ahead and start with the Firefly right there. So we on Firefly mode right there. 
Firefly mode, it's uh, 0.055 lumen for 672 hours. Low, I hit that once, is 17 lumens for 96 hours. Hit it again, that's medium, that's 75 lumens for 11 hours. Hit it again, we're on high, and that's 450 lumens, which is the maximum for this flashlight for 100 minutes. And then the strobe mode, which I already demonstrated, where you just hold the button in and it starts strobing. It's also 450 lumens, and I'll do that for... 140 minutes. So before we go outside and see how it looks outside in the darkness of my backyard, I have to go to the freezer <laughs> and get the flashlight because it's been frozen in there for a day. I've had this flashlight frozen in the freezer at zero degrees Fahrenheit <laughs> for 24 hours and look at that. Still works and it's pretty cold to hold on to here too. Had it in a uh, solo cup, as you could tell. I'm going to go ahead and uh, also test to make sure that it's waterproof while my dog drinks water. <laughs> Here I'm slurping. All right. This is uh, lukewarm water. Go ahead and turn that light on there. You can see it's still on while it's melting. Okay, so let's make sure it can cycle through the modes. There we go. So you have Firefly, Low, Medium, High, and let's go ahead and make sure it's still strobe. Alright, so we still have a fully functioning, now unfrozen flashlight. Additionally, you could see that it is obviously waterproof. We are in my backyard and you could see there's a fence line right here and that fence line is about 25 yards. I'll go ahead and hit the lights and we'll go ahead and try this out. First we'll see what firefly mode does and really you don't see anything downrange but if I hold my hand up here you can sort of see that very dim light. Next we'll go ahead and bring it to low and lows you know, you can see a little bit down there, but not very much. Next is medium. And definitely usable. Completely usable at medium. And last, high. And wow. That's throwing some serious light. And you can see that spot right there on the fence. And then the rest of the yard is getting that flood. I'm just going to go ahead and walk around down range just a little bit so you can see how well this works. And um, helps if I turn my <laughs> lights back off. This is my favorite uh, two AA battery flashlight. I, I really am a big fan of the Archer flashlights. They're great um, everyday carry flashlights if you need something, you know, a little more than a keychain flashlight. These are great. They're sturdy um, and they're logically set up easy to use and they have all the features that I believe a tactical flashlight should have and that's the strobe mode and the striking bezel and the U-clip uh, the there and the momentary feature. Everything that I like in my tactical flashlights is here. Um, the the only criticism that I, I have of this flashlight after you know using it and, and trying it out for the last week is hear that? Got a little bit of battery rattle. Of course, you could take care of that if you just maybe put um, some tape around the batteries before you stick it in there. It'll get rid of you know that if that is important. You know, if you're trying to be stealthy, sneak up on people and you like holding your flashlight like this <laughs> um, you could take care of that but um, you know my, my Archer 1A has no rattle but you know when you have two batteries in there it, it creates the pot more possibility of something like that happening so um, that's my only criticism of this flashlight everything else I absolutely love so um, 
highly recommended. Um, if you're interested in this flashlight, I did again provide the links below and also links to the Three Night Store and links to Amazon slash whatever countries they have it available. And it's uh, thirty nine dollars. Yeah, thirty nine dollars for the uh, cool white. I think I said clear white earlier. The um, cool white. And they have the neutral white available, which is not quite as bright, but uh, still pretty good for $30. So, um, highly recommend it. Alright, well thank you very much for joining me here at the Gear Procession channel. I really appreciate every friend, viewer, subscriber, and yes, especially you. And I hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye.